1,276,776,000,756. And a man by the name of Greg Nigel managed to pull it off, and he's the only man ever in recorded history to do so. So yeah, pretty impressive. March Madness starts off with 68 Division I college, colleges across the nation, and only one ends up victorious and labeled national champions. <coughs> A lot of hype is built all year leading to this tournament, and with all the anticipation and glory the young superstar athletes bring in millions of view excuse me, bring in millions of viewers every year, as well as sell countless arenas during their season. They put everything on the line, including their body, yet they do not get paid. This controversy is always discussed, and it's important to be aware of everything surrounding March Madness. So Again, many of you might have seen or heard about the bracket. You may be asking yourself, what is the bracket and why is it important? Well, the bracket is a table used to document the progress of teams as they continue, as they, as they progress through the tournament. The bracket, however, has become synonymous with sports gambling. Empty brackets are filled out by anyone, really. They can be filled out by anyone. Based on what you predict, the result will be of 68 teams playing against each other. The closer, the closer you are to accurately predicting the outcome of the tournament, the more money you're likely to win. Furthermore, we are at the closing stages of the tournament, and we are in what is known as the Final Four. The tournament started March 21st with the first round. After that was the second round. Then the rounds with the much cooler names start, start, starting with uh, the Sweet 16, then the Elite Eight, and the, the semifinals, which are the Final Four. The University of Virginia will play Auburn, and Texas Tech will take on Michigan State University as the last two matches before the final game. They will play April 6th, and the winner of those two games will play in the championship on April 8th. So. I don't know what to expect on April 8th. Uh, according to the Washington Post, Duke and Virginia were the favorites to win um, the national championship, but Duke just got eliminated by Michigan State University this Saturday in a close game where Michigan won by one point. On another note, while the colleges are the ones receiving all the attention and glory, there is major controversy that the NCAA does not give back enough to these students to these student athletes, which they profit from. Let me give you some numbers. The NCAA makes $844.3 million just from the Division I Men's Basketball Championship television and marketing rights. They also make $133.4 million from championship ticket sales, according to the official NCAA website. From this revenue, practically none goes to the student athletes who that money is spent to go watch. However, according to a survey conducted by John Dennis, who is an expert sports analyst, 70% of the public <coughs> oppose student athletes getting paid. So there's clearly a divide on this topic, but the NCAA has taken steps to unfairly profit from these young stars. Such steps are full ride scholarships to talented young athletes, Division I performance funds, which is for the schools, and other general and administrative funds from the NCAA. To conclude, the NCAA basketball tournament collects most of the nation's sport attention during the end of March. It is a part, it is a part of sport culture in the country, so it can be discouraging if you do not know what all the hype that everyone seems to be talking about. Overall, March Madness is an exciting time to be a basketball fan, 
and everyone should be able to follow along as the tournament progresses. Thank you.